Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about I Love Lucy. More specifically about the amazing Fred Mertz who is played by the also amazing William Frawley. Now to all of you who have supported the channel by subscribing and thumbing up videos, thank you so much. It really does help out. So I thank you all ahead of time. Now I really want to focus on something very specific about Bill Frawley and that is the fact that he was at a point in his life married but then divorced. He really never had children. And so what happened to everything? What happened to his money? What happened to everything that he essentially left in terms of economic funds. So I'm going to actually look at his will and tell you what it says on there and who he bequeathed everything to. It's actually really interesting and something that you will never guess because when I heard of the people who he split things between, I was very surprised. It does tell us a lot about the man and of course the goodness of his heart and so forth. So I want to first focus on Bill Frawley and how much he was making at the time of I Love Lucy. He was actually making only about $350 per week when he started. That is of course in 1951. And that the peak show of I Love Lucy when it was doing the best in terms of ratings and everything else he was making seven thousand five hundred dollars a week i do want to remind you that at this time television was nothing like the movies the movies was seen as a cream of the crop and television was seen as far below seven thousand five hundred dollars comes out to seventy two thousand four hundred dollars a week that is an incredible amount and by the end by today's standards it would be believed that his net worth was about 10 million dollars now it's not the hundred or billions of dollars that we are thinking about but remember when he took the offer for the show he was completely flat broke he was getting no offers and he did pretty well for himself but i think the genius move that bill frawley made that pretty much no one else on television had done other than, of course, Desi Arnaz. Desi Arnaz decided that he would take a huge pay cut, basically making pennies, in exchange for the rights of the show I Love Lucy. That made him a multi-millionaire. He was able for him and Lucy to buy multiple movie studios in Hollywood. Bill Frawley did actually a very similar thing. He wanted residuals for the show in perpetuity. That is, forever, even after his death. As long as I Love Lucy was being shown, at least on television, and it was being shown throughout the years, no matter how long that lasted throughout history, his estate, even if he died, would continue to make money, and to this very day in 2020, is still making money to this very day, which is absolutely amazing, and it's mind-blown, thinking about how he passed away in the 60s, and is still making money over 60 years after. So cool. Now I'm going to read you and tell you about his will. I think it's absolutely fascinating. Now it was signed October 2nd, 1964. Now he bequeathed at that time in 1964, I'll put the conversion amounts down below, he bequeathed $5,000 to St. John of God Hospital. Now that was, in quotes, to be used in the operating account or care of patients account. Now these patients that he's talking about was actually his brother Jay and his brother Paul. They were having issues at the time and he wanted to make sure that they were taken care of. Now he also left $2,000 to his very dear friend Phil Tanner. Now Phil Tanner had predeceased him, that is he died before Bill Frawley, so this would create some complications, but of course it was given to whoever his quote unquote descendants were. Now I just want to add this, Phil Tanner is known as a singer, but it's really strange to think about that he left money for him. Phil Tanner passed away in 1950 and he made this will in 1964. So it's really strange to see that he left money to someone who had died 14 years before. Moving on, even more surprising is that he bequeathed $1,000 each to Miranda Robin Barry and Stephanie Ann Barry. Now those two ladies are the daughters of Patricia Barry. She was an actress and she did act along with Bill Frawley in a film in 1962 called Safe at Home. Now exactly why he left this to the daughters of Patricia Barry is kind of a mystery. In that sense, we could maybe trace back to the fact that they did act together. Maybe she had a big impact into him and his life. She actually didn't pass away that long ago in 2016, and so she lived a very long life in that sense. But as we continue the will, it gets even more puzzling because he 
hereby devised and bequeathed all the rest, including residuals and the remainder of his estate to Patricia Berry herself. Now, this was, again, fairly strange because he did leave something for the daughters. He wanted them to be taken care of, as but mostly for Patricia. And I'm going to assume we have to look more into this. Maybe you guys and gals will know you're very resourceful that Patricia Berry left this to her daughters, possibly once she passed in 2016. I'm not sure, but that's something that maybe we can hunt for in the future. Now, in the event that Patricia Berry would predecease, that is, William Frawley, which did not happen. So this did not happen. This was an instance where if Patricia Berry would die, who would it go to? Well, again, this didn't happen, but he bequeathed it in that instance to John Gallaudet. Now, John Gallaudet, it's very interesting. This is a old friend, an old actor pal of Will Frawley. Now, what was interesting is that he actually appeared in I Love Lucy. He appeared in I Love Lucy in an episode where he is Ricky's agent. I'll show it to you here in Lucy Goes to the Rodeo. Now, it's very interesting. Maybe they started their friendship there and they actually acted together in My Three Sons. And so it's fascinating to me to think about this. Now, according to this, the current owners of the estate of Bill Frawley are the daughters of Patricia Berry, Stephanie, and Miranda Berry. But then again, a lot of things could happen. They could have given that to someone else. They could have bequeathed it to something else. But according to this, according to the will, that's where we're at, guys and gals. So hopefully this was interesting to you. I want to know your thoughts. I don't even know how to really explain or what my thoughts are because, again, he didn't have really a lot of family. I'm surprised he didn't leave it to his brothers. His brothers were having some issues at the time, so maybe he was frightened. They were around his same age, and he wanted to leave them to someone younger. I don't know. I'd love to see your thoughts down below. They're always interesting, of course. We'll see you next time, and don't forget, be hopeful. Thank you to everyone who supports me and my channel, especially through Patreon, where you could be listed on here. My awesome diamond tier patrons, Gary N, Sydney R, David D, and Ricky. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you back real soon. Links, playlists, to my other 1300 videos could be found in the description.